Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mouse and today I will do a quick tutorial on files from the game Stronghold. Um, Stronghold 3 to be precise and there are some files that are called V files uh, in the assets folder of Stronghold 3. And I think it's going to be a very short one because um, Let's just see what, what these files look like. Now this clearly looks like text, but encrypted or, or compressed somehow. Now, if you go to the back, which I noticed just before I made this video, you can see a lot of text things, but also a lot of use. Now the interesting thing is that once you've seen this happen more often you can sort of recognize what's going on. Um, and in this case it's probably going to be exclusive OR uh, encryption. So basically what happens is that text parts or maybe even the whole file um, is exclusive or um, with one particular value. So this is a bitwise operation, looking at this for instance, this 0, 5, if you look at the binary uh, description of this, it's 1, 0, 1, and the rest is 0. So it's 5. If you understand binary, um, so this would be 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So these two bits are set, that means bit 1 is set and bit 4 is set, exactly bit 3 or bit 2, whatever you call that, but the value uh, is 4, 1 and 4 together is 5, right? So that's the decimal value. Now you can exclusive or this with another number. And if you do that, you will annihilate the bits here. Uh, making sure that so where there whenever there's a bit that is the same in the other value so for instance this one which I suspect is the actual exclusive or value you can see it's one zero one zero one zero one zero that's fifty five uh, hexadecimally in eighty five so exclusive or of five with this one would annihilate the um this, these two. So let's see what happens if we actually do that. Just for argument's sake, um, 55 hexadecimally, just one byte. What happens? Just pay attention to the binary thing here. You see, these are set, but whenever there is a one, a bit is set, and there was also a bit set in the 55 here, it will annihilate. So those bits are gone and the new value is 50. Now, the reason I think this this is, um, where the hell am I? Why is this not, okay, is this is the U is because there's a lot of U's. Now if you would encrypt this particular part with one value, you would see U's whenever there is a zero byte, so a byte which is zero. So no bits are set. What you will get then, if no bits are set, you will get the actual exclusive OR byte as a result. Like a zero, exclusive OR with 55 or 85 hex, uh, decimally would be 85. So these are probably all places where the actual, in the file, the, the actual number is zero. We can test that briefly by just looking at the beginning. Let's just take a bit of a part of the file. Let's see. Perhaps I'll tilt this, copy it to a new file so we can do something about it and with it. And now do the same for the entire file, exclusive or each byte with this value. And then go up, and indeed, you see that 
this is the case so these are act this is text now an interesting thing is what you notice is pk so the magic word pk if you've seen this often you know that this is a pk zip file or something that looks like it anyway and um, if that's true then these are actually zip files that are conveniently uh, exclusive ORD with the hexadecimal 55 and here take a look at this another PK so it seems that this is this is also common in zip files for each new entry there that will start with PK so what we can do just to prove our theory is to exclusive or this 450 megabytes uh, file and see what comes up now let's do that by using a tool that Luigi made and let me just copy it to the assets folder for convenience this is a simple tool that will allow us to um, exclusive or uh, this file. So what's the name? That's core.v. Let's make sure we get it out of... Oh no. And I think I can do it like this in this tool. So it's a u as a string. And let's see what happens. Oh, I need an output obviously. Core dot zip then going on done okay core dot zip we should be able to just open this now waiting so this is just open you see there we go opening like a zip file interesting huh so all the things are in there textures and stuff what is there even videos no just the subtitles interesting which is an XML file interesting so now you know that you can actually change stuff in here it's even the fonts what they do right so if you want to mod this particular game you could just I mean these are DDSLs which are texture mapping or whatever TGA all files there's our graphic files big and bitmap files you can change this I mean just extract it and um, change stuff then rezip it and then run this core thing to get it back encrypted and then you should be done so this is a pretty easy format to do some easy modding so um, yeah just use the uh, exclusive or use the, the hexadecimal number of 55 on each byte and you will get the actual file and the actual file is a zip file now isn't that convenient all right until next time bye bye